Top side, top side. Do you read me? Read you loud and clear. Scientists have long thought that visibility is too poor inside the murky bay for white sharks to hunt. But the recent sighting raises new questions, and Scott is hunting for answers. It's a risky endeavor. All systems are green. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah, topside, topside. Uh, we got a really strong current right now. I'm actually being blown with it, and this is a danger. So I'm gonna come up a little bit shallower, trying to keep position. Stabilizing the sub, Scott takes his first look. Okay, topside. I can see the bottom. It's about 20 feet below us. I can't believe this. The environment inside the bay is different than he expected. I cannot believe how clear it is for San Francisco Bay. This is amazing. What's currently happening right now, we are experiencing the tide coming in. And of course, that's clean ocean water coming into the bay. So that explains the visibility. But what I didn't expect was this level of visibility. This is really clear. Historically, visibility inside the bay has been just three feet or less. Now, Scott estimates he can see as far as 20 feet, a far more suitable hunting ground for ocean-going predators like great white sharks. Topside, topside, request permission to surface. You're coming up out of the water, right? Yes, ma'am, we're arresting the sub. The visibility was surprisingly good, which means a visually oriented predator like the great white shark could easily find a surface prey item like a seal and slam it before that seal ever saw it coming. 